Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, May. You sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mod in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? We have possum springs, tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. <coughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. No, it's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah. I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah. Gotta save up for the screaming later. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh no. What is it? I don't know. But it's here. It's through there. I do hear something, guys. <laughs> Chris! Stop! Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See ya. Chris, he scared me. I know you're in here. Say something. 
Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, Poop, we're like five times scarier than you. He brought friends. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. I... You'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah. Sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me. So... Wait. What the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest. To protect their own and their neighborhoods. The... The... Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's going to kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family or relation or just being hard workers. Contributors! Um. Okay. So we could just leave. Right? Well. He brought you down here for a reason and he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say well he's already got an arrow through the shoulder I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever wait so you think that I... He kidnapped that kid at Harvest Fest. He's seen... He's been in my head somehow. Ray. Shh. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, no. I've seen this. Or, I've... I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jimmy Duran who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vess Schumannier, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came back here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or some, or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busted, bust through that wall and finds this place. 
and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. So what's brought you down here? What? What is it? <laughs> so what does this have to do with you? Or me? Or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we work ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go again. Shoot, I hate this stuff. You old poop heads. <laughs> you finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed about the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know her. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer. Onesies takes a shining to. It rubs off on ya. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well... Not only was the town's holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. I'm gonna say picked? First one who... First one was Tom Turner, who believed you, me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole, he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry, like you wouldn't believe. Every few months, or he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. What was what you were doing the other night? Was that what you were doing the other night? No! What happened the other night was a shame. One of our numbers broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no, no ones who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh no. Oh no. How many people have died down here? Or... Casey! The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever set whatever sad end he'd wind up at he did we did him a favor you could killed Casey oh my gosh we don't use that word you know he was taking a business with his cousin right you know what happened to his cousin burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded 